एवरीवन वेलकम टू द लास्ट अपडेट ऑफ द वीक एंड मंथ 28 जून अनदर रिलायंस पावर डे 2.5 परसेंट अप रिलायंस इन द लास्ट थ्री डेज हैज गॉन अप नियरली 10 परसेंट टी सी एस एच डी एफ सी बैंक एयरटेल आई सी आई सी आई ऑल ऑफ दैम केम अंडर सीवियर प्रेशर टूडे एस बी आई वॉज अप अट सो वॉज एच यू एल इंटरेस्टिंग डेटा ये स्टडे एफ आई आई बॉट टूडे डी आई आई बॉट नियरली द सेम अमाउंट एफ आई आई डिस्पाइट द ह्यूज रैली इन रिलायंस टूडे दे वर नेट सेलर्स वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट हाउ द डेटा इंडिकेट्स दैट देर वॉज सम डी आई आई विच वॉज बाइंग लैपिंग अप रिलायंस लाइक एनी थिंग टूडे विच ऑल्सो इंडिकेट्स टू मी दैट देर आर टू सेट्स ऑफ पीपल राइट नाउ वन हु यस्टरडे न्यू दैट द एयर पी यू हाइक विल बी अनाउंस लेटर इन दैट डे एंड सेकेंड हु आर नॉट अवेयर नाउ वॉट विल हैपन विल बी अ टेरेबल फोमो पीपल हु आर अंडर वेट पीपल हु डोंट हैव रिलायंस इन देर पोर्टफोलियो दे विल सी इट गो अप द ब्रोकरेजेज विल रिवाइज द टारगेट टू पर हैव थर्टी फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड काइंड ऑफ लेवल्स now retail will buy lines one thing i would like to point out is in most weeks with heavy buy or heavy sell typically friday second half people close their open positions so that happened today it did not happen last week most of the stocks corrected in the last half an hour one hour so as a result nifty bank nifty both closed in red today in the telecom pack you don't see reliance because jio telecom is not a listed company it is a part of the reliance group that appears under oil and gas now the arpu news applies to reliance bharti vodafone all three but note that bharti and vodafone were actually down today data wise nifty 0.15% down not much bank nifty however had deep cut nearly 1% down it did not go anywhere today energy was up that is primarily because reliance was up besides reliance which was the shining star today up four continuous days this week the remaining index stocks were down and down a lot hul has been going up steadily now last three days it has been up it was one of the worst beaten down stocks after the election results gold up a bit silver up nasdaq down 1% bitcoin up slightly rupee strengthened a bit crude went down nvidia was the only stock down yesterday rest entire us market was up there are three key news for today the government has announced that fiscal deficit has sharply narrowed down to 3% in the first two months this is primarily because there was no government spending in the first two months on account of elections now while it may seem like a good news there are two aspects of it lack of spending that will lead to gdp slow down in some ways think of it like if government has to revive the economy if government has to improve the gdp it does spending two months they have not done spending because of elections so this is the other aspect of spending lack of spending second part is this spending may speed up after the budget which means government may try to cover up for the lost quarter that means there will be over spending in the next quarter where this entire deficit which improved will worsen again also government may sell stake in some profitable companies like irfc masgaon doc this may seem like a good move however government is trying to arrange a lot of money perhaps to pump in into the economy this may be related to the upcoming state elections government wants to improve the image by spending a lot of money the more money you give to fm the better it will be for the economy and as a result for the government there was another news this is also from money control india it companies struggle with gen ai roll out delays amid rising compute and cloud costs it in my opinion is not looking pretty at all in india as well as globe now i'm changing the format of sectoral coverage slightly i am trying to eliminate the duplicate coverage let me know your feedback i am first going to talk about the top 3 sectors starting with it tcs and infosys were down today remaining next 4 5 players were up but their market cap is low as a result the sector was down 0.16% persistent was up a lot today 5.2% seems like persistent is finally getting rid of the ghost of the previous quarter's results the interesting part is the companies which are doing well here in terms of 52 week high low zomato info edge oracle they are all in some ways product companies energy sector is represented by two segments the power generators like ntpc power grid which is a transmission company and the oil industry so i have tried to cover both of them for contrast the power pack the power generation and transmission companies mixed back today the sector was down 0.11% primarily because this is not a monopoly sector and there were significant players which were red today the companies which were green ntpc tata power adani power tata power is one company which is there in my long term portfolio i will hopefully not sell it in the near future it is nearing 52 week highs in the oil companies the only two companies which were red today were the ones that i hold bpcl hpcl i bought them around the bonus time i haven't got the bonus stocks yet and both positions are in red so this time the bonus theory did not work 
मॉडल ऑफ द स्टोरी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट बोनस टू ऑलवेज मेक मनी फॉर यू एटलीस्ट इन द शॉर्ट टर्म द बिग टू प्लेयर्स रायंस एंड ओएनजीसी वर अप टू एंड हाफ परसेंट आईओसी अप वन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट ऑयल इंडिया ऑल्सो अप टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सो बिग गेन्स इन द सेक्टर ओवरऑल टू परसेंट अप एज अ सेक्टर द बिगेस्ट सेक्टर बैंकिंग बट कंप्लीटली रेड टूडे देर आर बिग क्रैक्स इन एच डी एफ सी आई सी आई सी लाइक आई पॉइंटेड देर वॉज ह्यूज सेलिंग एंड प्रॉफिट बुकिंग टूवर्ड्स द एंड This is one sector where I am a little worried for the simple reason that the indexes are making an all-time high, but none of the banks is nearing 52-week highs. Snapshot-wise, today's 20 sectors were up compared to 26 yesterday, so market breadth not that good. Contribution-wise, most of the contribution 154% came from oil and gas, so there was only one stock today which was noticeable, which is Reliance. The next big were chemicals, pharma, and diversified retail, which is Adani Enterprises. The sectors that were trying to pull the indices down: banking, telecom, machinery equipment, food and drug retailing. Nearly seven or eight sectors had to work together to erase the gains of Reliance. This was the ferocity of gain in Reliance today. Aerospace and defense corrected a lot today. automobiles nearly everything was down except tata motors that too big cuts the heavyweight maruti suzuki more than 1% down chemical sector there are some very large companies here asian paints pedilite this was up 1.25% as a sector today asian paints 1.26% however this sector is beaten down significantly especially the paints including asian paints and burger both of them have been completely left out of the bull run coal india up a bit construction engineering lnt was down today also RVNL was up a bit. Cement Pack, Ultra Tech cooled down a bit, half percent. But Grasim, Ambuja, Shri Cement, all of them were up. Dmart was down nearly four percent. The Consumption Pack, Patanjali was up five percent today also. It has been a good week for Patanjali. ITC down a bit, but overall the sector did well. Insurance, LIC was down point three percent, but overall the sector was doing well. Investment banking, the top three players were down. However, CDSL because of the bonus announcement was up twenty percent. That alone took the sector up in the green. Note that this is future news. There is no announcement of X bonus date by CDSL for now. Heavy machinery sector was down severely today. Siemens, ABB, Havells, Polycab, all of them. Polycab, there is some news of promoter selling two percent stake. I don't know why market takes that very seriously. It's perfectly okay for promoters to book some profits if their companies are doing very well, as long as they retain their controlling stake. Metals mix bag, Hindustan Zinc down today also. Pharma, everyone was up. The sector was up one percent. Real estate mix bag. Nifty Fifty only one stock had low volumes. That was Adani Enterprises. The big boys had good volumes, more than one twenty percent. Overall, more overall most of the players had average volumes. Twenty five stocks down, twenty five up. No surprises on contribution. Reliance. ONGC top two players followed by Tata Motors, SBI, ATL, ICICI, TCS, HDFC. They were dragging the indices down. For the laggards beside ATL, the volumes were okay only, not very high. The biggest gainer today was DRL. Industrial and ATL were the bottom two. Both of them high volumes. Next fifty, there was someone probably who was selling a lot in PNB yesterday. Today the stock recovered three and a half percent, followed by Trent, Vedanta, Zydus in terms of percentage change. Very few stocks had low volumes. Very few stocks had high volumes. Overall, twenty-five stocks down, twenty-five up. So an average day for the index. The stocks with highest market cap, the top five were down. However, there are only four stocks in the zero to fifty percent zone. My trades, I did not buy anything. I did not sell anything. I had mentioned yesterday the day that I wanted to lighten a bit on my defense holdings. But what happened today was defense stocks opened gap up. But most of them fell suddenly around ten o'clock. They didn't give me a chance to lighten up at all. Data pattern also opened at the highest point and then corrected throughout the day. So once you see that your stock has already corrected from the peak for the day, you don't want to sell. And I didn't. This is where I had seen that the gains were kind of gone somewhere around eleven eleven thirty. If I had sold around ten o'clock, then perhaps just the shorting profit for the day would have been in excess of fifty thousand rupees for me. Right now, my holdings are in H A L, B E L, Mazgaon Doc, B D L, Data Patterns, G R S E in one portfolio, but that is not something that I manage on a daily basis. Now, I shared this data a couple of days back. The graph was above the red bar for Reliance, and I had mentioned that this will auto adjust. Either stock will go up or the red bar will go up. Actually, both of them have gone up. So Reliance is approximately now between thirty two hundred as the resistance. And three thousand as the support. This is where we are as a stock. My F N O trades today mixed bag. Being a Friday, I did not want to take too many risks, so I did small trades. Overall profitable, eleven thousand profit in Nifty. 
I didn't try my hands at Bank Nifty at all today. Reliance I had shorted four lot position. That position obviously became loss making. I've got rid of three of the four lots. So approximately speaking, seven thousand five hundred of this loss has been booked. Two thousand five hundred remains. I'll figure that out on Monday. So overall, this will reflect as roughly twenty five hundred or three thousand rupee profit at the end of the day. Now this may seem like a small number, but on days like today, yeah, nifty. So on days like today, when there are spikes like these. You open with a gap up, then you continue going up. You consolidate, then you fall a lot. So these are sharp moves on Fridays, typically just after expiry when people are sitting in lot of profits. It is very hard to take a long call, and when markets and reliance are in the mood they are, it is very hard to short also. So I decided to stay out for most of the day and not take very large trades for sure. Now look at reliance. Reliance opened. In a single candle, one minute candle at 9:15 with 2% gap up. I don't remember when Reliance opened 2% gap up. This was the euphoria of the ARPU hike. As soon as the initial buying was done in a minute, Reliance immediately cooled down because the news was already known. But it went up, down. These are spikes of nearly 1%, 2%. Reliance moving one or two percent nearly. Seven eight times up down in a day is unusual. There are times when Reliance is really down or really up, but not this volatile. So volatile week comes to an end. What an expiry! Probably one of the most volatile I have seen in the last several months. India won the semi final yesterday, so tomorrow will be the final. India versus South Africa, first final in a World Cup for South Africa. Looking forward to see the match and have a relaxing weekend. You two have a good one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.